What's up guys? Welcome back to Code with Clinton. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable guest users or, anon or anonymous users how to cut and check out, understand? So in modern e-commerce website you have today, users don't, users don't need to sign in before they can add to cut. Once they come to the website, they can start shopping again. So you don't need to sign in before they can add to cut and check out. That is really an important feature you get. So in this video, I will show you how to enable guest users out to cart and check how to get currently a user is currently logged in you can see the name here it says i clean this is a logged in user i'm going to log out this user right now so sign out so watch and see currently the user is signed out there is no logged in user now if i go down to but slap products i'm going to pick this t-shirt okay i'm going to pick the t-shirt so now add to cart you can see the cart has been updated add one more Cat has been updated. I see, I'm able to add to cat without having to sign in or log in again. So, you get so I can also pick up this other product here. I can add this to cats. If I add, we have three products. I can check up my cats. So, this is my cat, and I can see we have three items. We have two of this t shirt and a single of this. You get so I'm going to check out now. So on my way on my on my way checking out, I was asked to sign in. You get so you get so I'm going to show you how this feature is being implemented in an e-commerce website. You get so this was a piece of Django. You get so I'm going to show you how it's being done. So that's what I'll do. We are getting in right now. So right now I'm going to show you how to implement this guest user articat instance. So I'm going to show you how it's been implemented. So right now I'm going to go down to my source code here, which is over here. Because I'm going to open this is my store app. Instead of the store app, I have the models of PyFi. So currently, I'm on the models of PyFi. I can have the category model, I have the product model, I also have the cats model. So this is the cats model, right? So I have to now. What I did was that I created a new attribute called session ID. You can call this attribute whatever name you like. Instance. So I just called my session ID. Instance. After I did this, what I did was that you know I'm going to go down to my views and do and do some other stuff in stand so normally whenever we want to add to cats we always use the logged in user in stand whenever i want to add to cat we always say whenever the user click on the add to cat button this is, this is the add to cat button so whenever the user click on the add to cat button what we do is that we create a cat using the logged in user but now there is no logged in user right so i also now use django sessions so these are so so i'm going to show you how I implemented that right so now I'm gonna open the views of PyFi let's just open that to the okay let me open the views of PyFi okay here's the views of PyFi now you can see on the index page what I did was that whenever a user visit the website they get down to the home page first which is this this is the home page they visit the home page first you get so this is the home page what I did was that I had to create a cat whenever a user this is the home page if you are logged in or not i make sure a cat has been created for you and these are the this, this, this was how i implemented the feature okay so i'm going to uncomment this stuff i like it so it's has been uncommented so what i did was that i tried getting a cat you can see i said cat dot object dot get session id instant request or session so i tried getting a cat you get so if this card does not exist i made sure the cat was created if it was not exist if the card does not exist I have to create a cat at the bottom here. You understand? So I have to use something we call request the session. Remember, you guys might have been this. This is what we call Django session. You understand? What this request the session does is that it tries to make sure that whatever this is a kind of a variable, whatever value it holds, it makes sure that the value is available across the whole website. You understand? This request the session that holds this value, this stuff is available. The value is available across all our views of pi. Is available across all the pages we have on this web on this on this web application stand all the pages it's available on all the pages you get so those what I had to do now as I said request a session I give it a key you can call your key whatever name you like so this key I give my non user so what I do is I said request a session square bracket non user so I have to give it a random a unique four sixteen digits code a unique sixteen a unique sixteen digits code which i then converted to a string again so after i did this now so this request to session non-user holds a unique 
16 digit code you get so now what i have to do now is that i also come down here and create a cat and i have to say cat.object.create session id which comes from the models of pi fi i'm going to open that to the side which comes from the models of pi fi we have here as we have the session id so now that's why i have to say cat.object.create section id should be equal to request or session non-user this is a 16 digits code so i have to put the completed or false in the stand so our model has a completed status our cat has a completed status of false you get so this is when a user tries this is when a user has not yet paid for the cat items you get so he's gonna have this completed set to false you get so so that's what i have to do now so i'm going to close this one so we can have more space okay so close this okay now that's that was that's what i have to do now first of all on the home page first, first of all whenever a user comes to our website they get to the home page first you understand so which is what we have here so once they attend once get to the home page i try getting the cards so if the card does not exist i make sure it was created understand so if you watch closely now on the detail page on the detail view you can see i simply just have to just get the cards because the card has been created on the index view you get it has been created once you have visit the index view the cards gets created you get so on the detail page i simply have to just get the cards if a user mistakenly visit the detail page first or visit any other page apart from the home page first you get there's going to be an error because you can see on the detail page i'm trying to get a cart i'm trying to get i'm trying to get the cart right but this cart does not exist this cart will not this cart is going to want to exist if you visited the home page first you understand so if on your first arrival on the website you have to go you have to go down to the detail page or some other page there's going to be an error you get so because there's going to be an error because this cat has to be created when you visit the home page first you get so you see there, there's a problem right now so to solve this problem what you need to do is just like you need to just copy this session and paste this try block you need to just copy this try block and paste on all your other view functions understand that's a bad practice you understand because in programming we have a principle that says DRY, don't repeat yourself you get so i have to copy this and put in all my other view function because if i have to visit the detail page or some other page first without visiting the index page there's going to be an error because this card is not created yet it's only going to be created when you visit the home page first before other pages you get so you can see on my detail page how to get the cards on my card page how to get the cards on the update cards how to get the cards you get you can see everything you see because this card has been been gotten so to stop to avoid this problem i, I said you need to copy this try block and paste on all the other view functions but that is a bad practice you get so i have to use what we call context processor you get so context processor now this is my context processor so i just simply paste this logic here just paste this logic here you get so after i've pasted this logic here i can simply get my cards i can simply i can even i can simply comment this out you get comment what we have on my view function because this context processor has made sure that this particular block is available on all the view function you get it's available on all the view functions you get so you can see now so how to now comment this out because it's no longer useful there because through my context processor i have access to this stuff you understand so now i can see so if a user visit the detail page first or any other page first there's no problem the card is going to still be created you get so so that is it now you get so i'm going to just browse through the code so you can see how i did some of the stuff okay so this is so just browse so this is the this is my code base this is the code this is the view function the views of pi this is for a single app i have some other view functions for other apps on the project you get so i'm going to drop down the live url of this website in the description of the video so you can go and browse this website yourself in instance so if you find any bug i would love to hear from you in the comment section you get so this is the code base just try and go treat yourself and recently i joined patreon understand so you can support your boy there on patreon so if you join me on patreon i bet you there are great benefits for joining me on patreon you're gonna have to chat with me 
directly whichever question you have you're gonna have it so whichever question you're gonna have to want to ask me we are gonna have a one-on-one -on -one discussion a one-on-one -on -one chat discussion in the stand join me on patreon i have some benefit there for you so you get so this so that's how to add to cards for guest cheese as you get so this is the code base so check out the website yourself browse through it and if you find any bug drop it down for me in the comment section so if you if you if you implement this thing i just showed you and it still doesn't work for you drop your question in the comment section i'd love to hear from you and help you out to get so the Django series for beginners to advance it continues on my channel so currently we are on part four, currently we are on part four so we are going down to up to part 30 or part 50 as long as it's going as long as it's going to take us to get so thank you this all this all we have for this video so we're going to see in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye